due to some recent discussions on my blog, I thought I would share with you uh, two um, site meter or uh, traffic source um, tools that you can install on your blog. Um, with more and more people blogging, I think some of them are not aware of these uh, great tools that tell a little bit too much sometimes. This one is Site Meter, and this one's actually um, my favorite. And you can see this one is only for my blog, it's not for my website. And um, it lists the total uh, since I first installed it. And today there's been 269 people on my blog, 19 within the last hour. If I go to Who's On, this is the cool part. I can see now there's currently six people sitting on my blog and reading it at, at this time. Um, one person has been sitting on my blog nearly 12 mi uh, 20 minutes and has seen 12 pages. And this person's been on um, nearly a minute and a half with two pages. And so you can also see their location. The, the uh, link that I look at most often in here is by referral and I absolutely love this. Uh, you can see this person came from Digifree and I get a lot of those. Um, this person here googled for waffle casserole and came to my website. Um, this one googled uh, Photoshop Actions Photoshop Elements. Here's one from a DigiTalk uh, thread and what I like about this is see I can right click and choose open a new tab and find and go directly to that page that they clicked from to see who it was <laughs> and here's Chris A has shared uh, my site in this thread and see now gosh I'm kinda blushing again but thank you Chris uh, you're famous and so you can right click and go and see exactly um, what it is. Seeing, I'm looking here, this post number is at DigiTalk is different than this one. And so I can actually click on it and find that exact thread that that came from. And so you can go through here. Um, this person wants to know how to do a metal staple in Photoshop and arrived at my blog and that's kind of fun sometimes to go ahead and follow those uh, Google searches um, see they search for metal staple Photoshop and there I am right there and I'm kinda of far down on the page rank this is one way you can observe your page rank if I was up here in the first three or so I'd I'd have a higher page rank, but these people at the top um, have a higher page rank than I do. But um, it's kind of fun to see when I come up at the top of those searches. And uh, so you can go through here. This person came from an email. This one, World TV Stations. It's really quite funny sometimes what these people search for to uh, get to my site. Th for instance, this person searched for Digi Scrap Green Eggs and Ham. <laughs> now, why would somebody want to? Oh, look, and I'm second from the top. <laughs> now, why would somebody want to search for Digi Scrap Green Eggs and Ham? I don't know, but hey, I got a good laugh out of it. And so let's go back to look at some of the other things. Um, that's one I hit most because I like to go see where uh, everything is coming from. Um, you can search by uh, location. I hardly ever look at this, uh, but the person that was recently the last one to click on my site came from this location. And like I said, I rarely look at that. I'm, I'm just not that concerned with where everybody is uh, coming from. I mostly hit who's online and uh, referrals. Oh look, now there's nine people online. 
at the same time. That's just too cool. Um, you can also, I like this by details because it will uh, tell you that the last person that entered um, entered at this time is only reviewed viewed one page. This person has viewed three pages. Has it been on 48 seconds? I can click on this then if I want and uh, get more details. I can even see that they entered on this page first and I've actually done um, tests before and when I advertise I will um, purposefully put one link or another just to see where people enter. Um, I might advertise in one place using one link and advertise in another place using another link to see which one gets more hits on that link and you can see they out clicked right to four shared. Um, there are charts in here. I am not going to go through all of those charts. Um, let me see. You can click on uh, what was I on just not too long ago. Let me see. You can see where they have come uh, by the visitor map. I'm going to click on the last 100 people and you can see most of them are here in the United States. Here we go. If I go down here, there are some other things that I can click on. For instance, what browser does everyone use? And you can see that 48% of them use Internet Explorer. I can click on monitor resolution, which is important. If, you're, uh, if you have a lot of people with the 800 by 600, uh, that's going to be too wide. On uh, of a screen uh, or to the your your I'm sorry I can't think right now your uh, blog does not want to be too wide for those people with the small screens um, so it's important to uh, get the width of your uh, site just right for if you're going to have a lot of people with those smaller uh, resolutions and um, I can, uh, you know, get language. I rarely look at all of these pages. Seems like the second highest is French. And so, um, but these things are here. Uh, if you um, want to go through and look at them. Of course, I just hit this and I see there's still nine people on and I go to referrals and I like to have this and look at this somebody googled Photoshop six elements crashes hmm. and service pack three crashed uh, the last two people who entered my site googled that and so you can see how helpful this is I like being able to see the immediate results um, I'm going to go over real quick to Google Analytics. I think I'm probably going to need to uh, do this in a separate video or it's not going to upload to YouTube. So go ahead and um, uh, take a look at SiteMeter and come back in a few minutes and I will review Google Analytics with you.